Oh my God! Okay, it's happening. Everybody, stay calm. What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm. Wait, 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 wait. Everybody, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> okay, man. So let's get into it, y'all. Let's talk about this whole situation with the My Forex funds, which is now known as My Frozen funds. Wow. Oh man. You got to laugh to keep from crying, right, y'all? So check it out, man. There's videos all over the place now about this whole situation. And so let's get into uh, my take on it, man. So on my recent YouTube video, I had a couple of um, comments that were made, right? Because I dropped that information about it happening a couple of days ago. So um, this person wanted to know about their account and uh, what will they do now? This person says, you know, hey, you know, it's all good. There's plenty of prop firms left. This person uh, had a $50,000 live account that they were trading. Not sure if they withdrew or not, but they also had just recently started a 300K challenge two weeks ago. Ouch. It's like a $1,400 evaluation with my my frozen funds right there. Um, So, and this one right here. Man, this guy here or girl, not sure, claimed that they had 600K in uh, live funding with them. Big loss. So, man, so yeah, it's real, man. A lot of people affected by this. And so, um, you know, I came in joking with the whole office clip, but at the end of the day, you got to face the facts, right? So right here, you have the official CFTC Commodities Futures Trading Commission's uh, release of the information as far as the um, whole situation with my Forex funds, aka my frozen funds. So it says right here at the top, y'all, they're charging them with fraudulently taking over $300 million from customers hoping to become professionals. Wow. Ouch. So I'm not going to go through all of this, guys, but let's look at some of the little highlights in here, right? So, of course, my Forex funds is the defendant in this particular uh, case. And if you look at it, my Forex funds was also um, running their own in house, quote unquote, brokerage, right? The traders global so if you have an account with them you know that's the broker that you're attached to when you're doing your trading they claim that that was a um, a liquidity provider for them right they assure customers that their success quote unquote is our business right so they want to make you feel comfortable right we only make money when you do which we all know is a bunch of bs wow so some lies right off the bat right there right so the complaint also alleges that the traders global activity uh, minimizes the likelihood of you succeeding as a customer, y'all. That means that they were literally setting you up for failure, man. Secretly using specialized software to cause customers orders to not be executed. Also, they were doing uh, funny things with your, uh, with your spreads, right? Where to hit your stop losses or, you know, it'll put you in further away on your entries, causing you to be in drawdown and things like that, right? So... But this is a big one right here, man. All right. As the complaint noted, Traders Global has, has been successful and more than 135,000 customers have signed up for their trading program. He being one of them. All right. Here recently, about, about a month ago, and paying at least $310,000 in fees. That's crazy. And the owner, and the owner used these proceeds from the fraud. You notice that. They call it fraud to purchase luxury homes, automobiles, and to make tens of millions of dollars in transfers to his personal accounts, man. Wow. This is some off the charts foolery going on right here, y'all. So, yeah, man. So, we're not going to get into all that, man. So, let's go ahead and just get into it, man. So, I personally uh, have always been a little skeptical of these prop firms, man. They've been around for a while about what five six years now i don't know and i and i say prop firms i use that term loosely because let me see if i can find this uh picture Where is it at? right here prop trading occurs when trading a trading desk at an institution or a brokerage firm or an investment bank or hedge fund or any uh, or other liquidity sources use the firm's capital when it comes to trading Name any of the prop firms that you guys see out there right now on YouTube that uh, fits that criteria right there. I'll wait. One of the biggest takeaways from this whole situation is that you got to be an informed consumer, man. At the end of the day, 
all right not just taking everything that you hear online as gospel and uh just jumping in feet first right because a lot of people were affected by this and lost money and um it's pretty tough to deal with man but you gotta gotta push through it right so let's get into it what you want to do as far as pushing through it man let's talk about regulated versus unregulated brokers right so even if you were funding a personal account you still have risk right because with these typical brokerages that you guys are using with these 500 to 1001 leverage on the accounts those are all what we call unregulated brokers right they're located in these offshore areas where they're away from the scrutiny of a uh, local or i'm sorry of uh governmental agencies right and so therefore they do some of the stuff that my forex funds was doing with their traders global group with your live funds as well with the slippages and the manipulation of the uh, spreads and executions of your order man let's not be naive and think that that's not happening because it is right but how do you protect yourself right first things first go with the regulated brokers right regulated brokers are accountable to these agencies for their actions and you have some kind of protection so to say to where if your funds are affected that you could actually have a case against them but when you don't and you're trading with these unregulated brokers you're taking their chance so if you are taking the chance of trading with an unregulated broker my suggestion to you would be i would not be trying to build up an account there if i get so much profit i'm skimming it off every couple of weeks or every couple of months depending on how frequently you are making profits with that particular type of account but i would not be holding it there because the same thing that just happened with my frozen funds could happen with your broker well you remember anybody remember uh he goes way anybody remember that broker there's been a bunch of them that's been popping up all around right and that's the reason why speaking of popping up prop firms right have y'all noticed the explosion of prop firms when it comes to these quote-unquote youtubers that are opening up their own prop firms now if y'all noticed that they're all out there right speaking of that check this one out my funded fx right my man said my funded fx will spend hundreds of thousands of dollars over the next few months bulletproofing our existing infra i mean our existing structure whatever that new means but look at the second paragraph y'all this is one of those prop firms right we knew this was coming to some extent but to the level it has come was anyone's guess he claims we are ready whatever that means right wow that's a, that's a wild shit right there y'all anyway point is all of these quote-unquote prop firm brokerages man or whatever they call themselves they knew it was coming man this is nothing new right so more of the story man be an informed consumer know what you're getting into man just get rich quick chasing the profits and all that good stuff and trying to shortcut the journey it has its risk and this is the risk man and if you don't follow the number one rule of investing which is don't put money in the market that you can't afford to lose you're gonna always cause yourself grief and hurt man so if you don't have the capital that you can afford to lose to get started then you don't get started you go out sweat earn the money to be able to start and not put yourself at risk and then you come back to the table right or you just practice trading on a uh paper trading account right whatever the case may be man you got to make some more decisions and when you take risk and you play with fire sometimes you're gonna get burned right so hey man that's my whole take on the whole situation with prop firms and as my man stated here in this comment he asked well what do we do now no he said there's plenty of them out there left that's right and plenty of them out there that are left they can also get shut down at any point in time so you thinking that you got six hundred thousand dollars worth of funding like my man right here and guess what one day you wake up and you don't then what do you do all right so let's be smart about it guys and again prop firms they're saying we knew this was coming to some extent what does that mean right 
knew what was coming. So that means they knew that they were doing some shady practices and that they might be held accountable for it. But was this whole thing a money grab? And again, going back to the uh, prop trading and what that really means in its true sense. Ask yourself, all these prop firms that you're paying for challenges with, are they set up in this manner? Are they regulated? Do you have any type of protections? And if you decide to still go that route, because I got people that are still talking about, oh, well, I'm still going to try with these other ones because, you know, there's more out there. There's nothing to panic about. It was just my Forex funds or my frozen funds that were doing shady things. These other guys don't know. They're, they're, they're true. Yeah. So learn your lesson. Keep it pushing. Much love to everybody out there, man. The journey continues, man. This is just a bump in the road, but it just goes to show when you try to shortcut the process, sometimes, you know, you don't get knocked back a few steps. You have to get back up, brush yourself off and get back on the path. So I have a good day. I'll at you. Peace.